Good afternoon. We're currently out at the park. It is like a relatively nice sunny day today. It's like the closest thing we get to summer pretty much at all. Anyway, that is not why I wanted to talk to you guys. Yesterday, I was like, what reading vlog could I start doing for this coming month? And I picked up a happy place yesterday. Had all the cute summer vibes for today that I want to manifest. So I'm be starting a happy place with you guys and give you my thoughts and all that good stuff. I've heard so many good things. I really haven't read that many of her books. So this will be kind of an extra experiment to see how I feel about like her and her writing in general. The plan for right now is I'm going to update you guys every like 100 pages. Pages. Let's see if I can keep up with that or if I just get too into the book. I just don't really like, I mean the sleeve is beautiful. The sleeve is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I'm just not like a hardcover person, so I think if I took the sleeve off, it would just be easier for me to work with. but I am about 200 pages into a happy place I was gonna stop at 100 and update you but it just like sucked me in it is so freaking good it's like I don't know everything she writes is literally like how I have felt in my relationship with my husband and I've just been like annotating like crazy I never thought I'd write in books until I got this one and I just can't stop like there's so many tabs and so many just like I stopped tabbing because it took up too much time because there was just too many good things and I just was so wrapped up in the story I've just been like going crazy with my markers. Emily Henry has definitely redeemed herself with me. I mentioned in one of my videos previously that she's kind of like my second chance author right now. I have wasn't very blown away by like Beach Read or People Me On Vacation. I was kind of just like, eh, but maybe it just wasn't the right time. I don't know. But I tried again at Happy Place and she has definitely got me wrapped up. Like, I would do anything this woman said. I'm wrapped in her finger. Like, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be giving those a second chance, especially now that it's the summertime, and I feel like I'm gonna continue to be a really big fan now that I've like just gotten back into it. This book. I was also kind of scared because I'm not a big fan of hardcover books, like at all. Like, literally, all my books on my bookshelf are all paperbacks. But I have loved every single second of it. I am really sure I'm gonna be able to knock out the rest of this book today. Right now, it's kind of like I just really like the friend group. I think like everyone in the friend group I'm really attached to and they all just have like I don't want to call it miscommunication because that can kind of get a little irritating but it is like in the best way like it really is showing the importance of keeping connected with people you care about and just being truthful about like the stage of life you're in or the changes you're going through and it's okay to change and grow like your friend group or even your role in your friend group doesn't have to stay the same because it's not realistic it's just when you grow into an adult, things change with you and your personalities and your wants and your needs. And I feel like they've all been trying so hard to keep it the same as it was when they were in college. And now they're like a little more in their late 20s, early 30s and still trying to like hold on to what they had. 
which they can definitely still like salvage their friendship they just all need to be honest about like how they're feeling because it feels like one friend sabrina is like the only one who's really trying to like keep everyone together but as they were when they were younger everyone else is kind of like i don't really want to do that kind of just want to like sit and talk and just like more adult things than what they did when they were in their 20s they want to connect but no one's willing to say that and everybody has something that they're just not letting get out so the main girl for her it's that they are broken up like her and her boyfriend so they're just like the main girl she is in a relationship with one of the friends in the friend group and their thing is that they're just not being honest with where they're at as far as like they were going to get married and they were engaged and all this stuff and they just haven't really updated or included anyone and in, in each other in their lives as they are because they took like a break and everything so they're even trying to figure out like what's going on with you what are your likes like how are you feeling things like that and it's just like it really made me think that you know even with like your partner and even in my relationship with my husband like it's so important to be upfront with like how i'm feeling and how i feel about my role in the relationship and just not to like let things fester before it's too late but i'm gonna keep reading and i'll tell you guys all about it later i finished a happy place in about three ish three and a half days i don't know if i got every single time i read just because like i have a baby so i just can't like sit and binge read all the time but I did do my best to try to update you guys whenever I was reading or like recording I was reading. I do remember telling you guys halfway-ish, I guess because it was almost 400 pages, so I did pretty good on the halfway mark, that there was just so many good quotes in this book. And to the end, I can say that still stood. Like, I was going crazy annotating. I was not a big fan of writing in books, but now Emily Henry has changed me. I'm literally annotating every book that I like now just because I, I couldn't stop. So this definitely was less of like the light romance that I was thinking going into this. Like that was the case for Beach Read and People Meal Vacation and more like lighthearted reads. This was definitely a book that had some pretty, I'm gonna say like, pretty deep because that can mean a lot of things when it comes to reading but it definitely has an underlying like cautionary tale sort of vibe to it like i said a couple days ago they were kind of in the middle of everyone realizing they had some like secrets they're keeping from each other but not even like bad ones just like i don't know they were almost being too cautious about what the other person would think about like what's going on with them type of thing they were just really scared of letting each other down or letting like the families down too because there was definitely some things that they also like weren't telling like their parents just because i mean i don't know they were just kind of blocking everybody out and being really weird around each other and just trying to be how they were when they were in their 20s I would say the ages, now that I've read the whole book, everyone's definitely in their 30s in this book. There was a lot of like looking back into how easy and like fun and light and things were a few years ago. Now the book was about some romance going on between the like main girl I would say we follow and her ex, which everyone is not aware that's her ex. They're still trying to find the facade that they're together, like I said before, kind of trying not to disappoint everyone was also like the underlining thing keeping everyone in the friend group from like telling their tea. So we had dual timelines of when they were younger and even seeing how even then they're like hiding certain aspects of the relationship from their friends and then how now fast forward how they're still doing the same exact thing but now it's about how they're broken up whereas before it was them keeping the secret they were in together. Emily did so good at writing like their back and forth. The humor between them was just so good like they had just so quick and witty and it wasn't all just like sweet and you know flirtatious things going back and forth which i really enjoyed that there was another layer of just like personality outside of it being just like a lovey-dovey romance there's a lot of parts of harriet's um, pov in this book that i felt really connected to and it kept me flipping the page there were things how she would describe like how she felt about when even in the future after having heartbreak i could kind of think about like feeling the same exact way something would happen to me and riley and then when they were first getting together i was like that is exactly exactly it like oh, it was just it was so good that like, the writing emily is just incredible like this book was really good and totally worth it i thought about like putting a hold on it waiting maybe a few months and was seeing like if the hype was worth it but i'm so glad i picked it up right now because it is definitely 
definitely worth your time, your money. The atmosphere she set, you can totally like see it in your mind and feel it and the story that was going on. It's probably one of the more atmospheric books I've ever read. It's just, it was really good. I feel like you could read it any time of the year too. It was just, she just did so good that you're like, you don't need to put yourself more into this today so I get into it. I could read this in the fall, in the dead of winter, like it was just, so good easy five stars and i'm not like an emily henry person i couldn't really get into people meal vacation didn't even finish it i'm going to reread it though now that i've gotten a really good taste of my mouth from this book but i couldn't even but i didn't even try to read beach read either so i'm not just saying this because i'm like a huge fan of her this was literally my first work of hers that i have read and it was so so good i'm new to like the reading scene i'm still trying to figure out exactly how i rate books Right now I call a five star when I like cannot stop thinking about a book and I feel almost like I'm in a book slump when it's over. But I know book slump is not a good thing, but that's just how like into the story I got. And now I'm starting to rethink a lot of aspects of a five. Like this book has so many good things about it that I'm like, maybe I should model my five stars after books like A Happy Place. Like the atmosphere, the banter, the writing, it was very like for a dual timeline book and for something as like setting the stage for the ultimate lesson of how important it is to just be truthful with what stage of life you're in, the feelings you're having about professional life, your love life, your friendships, what you need from your friendship. It's so normal to grow into a different person, especially after your 20s and even going into your 20s and meeting new things from your friends around you. And it felt like they were all trying to suppress that feeling too, just to keep things the good vibes that they were all this time. When everyone grows up, everyone has, you know, a discovery that maybe they didn't make the right professional choice. Maybe they feel like they're missing something in their life. It was so much work. Like reading this, I was exhausted from how much work all sides are putting into kind of just trying to make everything seem like it was okay. All this to say, obviously I loved it. It was more than worth it. I had a lot of fun making this reading vlog. I'm actually about to start filming another one just because I had such a good time and hopefully it lives up to the expectations that this new book has set. But I'm definitely going to say this is a five stars. It has definitely changed the way I'm rating my books. I feel like when you're on like your reading journey when you just constantly are taking in new works by different authors you're kind of always going to change up your rating and realize that maybe you didn't like other works you rated so high the same as your new brain does after you've taken in so many new writing styles and new just like i don't know this was just so different than every book i've read so far and i really enjoyed it and i like kind of expect a lot of my i kind of want like a lot of my romances now to have some type of like deeper layer to it i don't know but i'm definitely reading more emily henry books she's definitely won me back if you watched my tbr jar video i picked a prompt for this book that was like my second chance author and she was it so like i said i didn't really vibe with people in on vacation at first but she has definitely won me over this was a success i'm so happy that i took time to read this i'm quite excited what i'm gonna do for my next reading vlog i think i'm gonna do things we never got over because that is such a big series right now the knock em out series so i think i pick that up next and do that with you guys but thanks for watching this video if you want to pick this book up i always have in my amazon storefront my list of books that i have brought up into books so it's easy for you guys to find it because i don't really ever remember to link things down below i don't know why but i do update my amazon so i'm always shopping on there so if you want to find this book there you can or at your barns i got mine from sam's club literally it's everywhere and it is mean go figure it's so good but i'll see you guys in the next video if you had a great day remember to follow me on my other social medias and subscribe down below i'll see you in the next video